well friends at the outset let me congratulate you for the date that is 8th november it's 8th november 2020 today and it was the day 8th november 1895 when the german scientist w c roengen discovered x ray so 8th november 1895 and then 8th november 2020 exactly 125 years are passed so let me congratulate one and all related with radiology department for this 125th year of invention of x rays i was lucky even to witness the 100th year of invention of x rays and again lucky to witness even the 125th year of the invention of x rays believe me in these 25 years the field of radiology has grown up thousand and thousand times let me imagine the status of radiology department another 25 years later if by chance we could see 150 150th year of invention of x rays i would be happy to see that moment the development in radiology department so in order to celebrate this day of invention of x rays thousands and thousands of programs are going on on this day across the nation and across the world mgm has organized a lecture on radiation protection in pediatric radiology it is one of those programs and i really congratulate the people attached with this program the organizers of this program let me also thank dr preeti kapoor to approach me for this lecture and i really feel proud to be on this platform for mgm group of hospitals thank you thanks one and all all the organizers of this webinar and once again congratulations to all the people related to radiology department not only the hod not only the consultants registrars radiographers even the clerical staff even the mamas and maushis should be congratulated for this 125th year of invention of x rays well friends today we are here to discuss about the radiation protection in pediatric radiology jab bhi koi subject shuru hota hai to usme do hi questions hote hain why and how so the first question is why it is so important that we are discussing on this topic why radiation protection is important in pediatric radiology why we should keep such a webinar on this 8th november this day why radiation protection is important in pediatric radiology and the second question is if it is so important then how we should deal with that how we should reach the limits required for radiation for pediatric radiology so if we are able to answer these two questions why it is so important and then how to achieve that the success of the webinar is at that point now if as a senior person in radiology department i have to answer why it is so important to discuss about the radiation protection while dealing with children patients pediatric patients i may give you three reasons number 1 radio sensitivity the children are 
highly radio sensitive than adults why because they have developing body organs they have developing brains their dna the dividing cells are under physiological activeness the divided cells dividing cells does not have that accurate capacity of getting repaired themselves and the children are even 10 times more affected by radiation than the adults so this is one of the reasons the first reason to discuss about radiation protection in pediatric radiology is children are more radio sensitive than adults even you can say the body diameters of children are smaller and they have less shielding from overlying tissues so these are the reasons which fall under group a to discuss about the radiation protection in pediatric radiology so you can see the first group children are more radio sensitive than adults they are two to three times more radio sensitive they are in developing physiological status for the body organs and the brain they have smaller body diameters and they have less shielding from overlying tissues the second group is they have longer life expectancy now what is life expectancy this is the average life of a person in a country say for india you can see the last line of the slide it is around 66 years so if a child comes to your department leave the other reasons but if we consider only the radiation protection if we only consider the radiation part because of which many effects are there on the body and if we take protection and save the child bring him out of the disease at the age of 5 years 10 years 12 years 18 or 21 years and then if he lives for 66 years we give him a life of almost 40 years to him believe me and you must be knowing if you are in a radiology department you must be aware of the uh, stochastic effects of radiation so if we save the child from these effects we give him a life of 44 years and thus we should say that since the children have longer life expectancy we should talk about radiation protection we should consider this topic of radiation protection every time while working in the department and the third part the third reason why we should talk about radiation protection is higher probability of developing cancer as i said they have uh, developing tissues they have developing body organs their brain is developing they have less shielding there are a number of reasons because of which we can see stochastic and non stochastic uh, effects in children if we don't consider radiation protection appropriately somebody has raised hand if he has any question or you can put it in chat box later on please so if we don't consider radiation protection cataract can develop which is a non non stochastic effect even cancer can develop the stochastic effect of radiation protection uh, radiation so these are the three reasons number one children are highly sensitive to radiation 
number 2 children have longer life expectancy and number 3 children have higher probability of developing cancers so if somebody asks us why we should talk about radiation protection according to me these are the three reasons why we should talk about radiation protection now the next question if it is so important then how to control the risk in pediatric radiology very simple question and if you little bit aware of radiology department agar aap kaam karte samay saudhani se kaam kar rahe hain chaukanne hai so you can answer this question very easily as a radiographer as a radiologist these reasons are well known to each and every person each and every radiographer and each and every radiology uh, radio uh, radiologist what are these perform examination only when medical benefit is appropriately high so no examination should be performed on children if it is not that important if the benefit if the medical benefit is very high then and only then we should perform an examination on a child number 2 minimize the possible amount of radiation that is lra principle we should work on very low ms and kv and we should tailor examination parameters every time while dealing with a child number 3 image only the indicated area that is collimation is very important while doing radiology radiography of a pediatric patient we should always consider the collimation as the first part first you collimate properly then only the shielding and other things come in picture so image only the indicated area number 4 avoid repeated examinations and multiple phase scans so multiple phase scans should not be done for radi- uh, pediatric patients in ct scan and all if it is required then only we should go for that or wisely we should go for a single phase scans and try to uh, find out the radiological informations number 5 is consider use of alternative modalities that means in spite of going for a radiography under radiation can we use ultrasound or mri to detect the abnormalities and success in that so if it is possible we should choose alternative modalities and the most important part is specially trained people specially trained personals radiographers and radiologists should be available for pediatric radiology so this is the answer of how to control the risk in pediatric radiology now i as, as i said there may be two questions why and how we have answered both the question that doesn't mean that the lecture is over the webinar is over now how to control these risk factors we have selected the points let us discuss about that so how to uh, decide whether the medical benefit is very high how we should uh, uh, use lesser parameters how we should use proper collimation these all answers we will be getting in the next slides now to answer these points i have prepared a 10 point program for pediatric radiology department how our pediatric radiology department should be organized to deal with the children so there are 10 point programs number 1 gaining the child's confidence is an important issue in obtaining good image quality that means unless and until you gain confidence in the children 
that you are going to do something better from them better for them if you bring a confidence in them then only they will cooperate then only we will get a good image quality and that to at reasonably low doses otherwise if they are not confident about you if you cannot gain confidence in them they will not support you they will not cooperate you and you might have to repeat the examination which is not good for the topic of radiation protection number 2 is dedicated pediatric room we should have a smaller area which is well dedicated for pediatric patients experienced staff should be there as i said trained radiologists and trained radiographers should be there to deal with child patients then along with the children even you have to prepare their parents for the radiography procedure that means if you prepare the parents the parents may help you in preparing the child for the procedure they may talk to the child in their style they may talk to the child in their language and of course a child will understand its parents than us so it is very important even to prepare the parents for the radiography procedures as i said a dedicated examination room should be there for children so those rooms should be put up with the good posters good pictures which may be even scenery some cartoons or even photos or pictures of another children undergoing some exam such in examinations so if you they if once they see these things that some other children had gone through this examination they somehow get ready to go under that procedure then the most important part of the 10 point program for a pediatric radiology department is the waiting time should not be more the more you keep the child waiting for the procedure the more the child gets irritated and once the child gets irritated he will never cooperate you he will never support you for the positioning so if you keep some person waiting for 10 minutes once a child reaches the department you should give the child preference and start the procedure as soon as fast so the faster you take the child the more he will cooperate you the more he will support you and even after this if you don't succeed of course we have to sedate that child and there again a careful and supervised sedation and anesthesia should be given that to again under the uh, observation of specialist in that the anesthesia for adults and for children again vary so again we should have an anesthetist who deals with the child properly the eighth point is again waiting area should be friendly and cheerfully decorated as i said with posters and pictures and some essential distraction aids to distract their minds to distract their minds from the procedures agar bacche sun nahi rahe hain unko aap kuch toys dikhaye hain bells dikhaye hain ye sari cheeze the toys may distract their mind and then you can get the support of these children even you can show such a certificate for them that if you cooperate me if you support me and if i get a good picture of yours 
a good smiling photo of yours i will award you with such a certificate it may happen that they cooperate you just a stand this is the biggest problem we have machines of worth rupees crores in our department but we never think of a chest stand for a pediatric patient a pediatric chest stand is something different than the chest stand for adult patients generally what we do in our departments chota bachcha aaya to wahi adult ke chest stand ke samne एक लड़खड़ाता हुआ स्टूल लगा के हम उसके ऊपर बच्चे को खड़ा करके उसका चेस्ट एक्सरे लेने की कोशिश करते हैं डू यू थिंक द चाइल्ड विल कॉपरेट यू इफ द स्टूल इज मूविंग इफ ही इज इन पी ए पोजिशन एंड इज अनेबल टू सी हिज पेरेंट्स और इवन यू इज वंडरिंग वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन बिहाइंड मी ही विल नेवर कॉपरेट अस सो इन दैट केस वी शुड हैव अ स्पेशल पीडियाटिक चेस्ट स्टैंड and then of course the shielding devices the shielding devices must be correctly positions <clears throat> you can read the two lines very important lines the absorbed dose can be reduced by up to 95% if we use the shielding devices appropriately so these are the 10 points and even we can have high frequency generators for pediatric patients which allows us for shorter exposure time up to even 3 milliseconds we should have automatic exposure control which automatically decides the exposure according to the thickness of the organ or the part of the body which is to be radiographed and we should have dose area product meter which monitors the dose which we are imparting to the pediatric patients so with such a setup with this setup we can call the department dedicated for pediatric radiology or pediatric radiography for adolescent girls at this stage a girl over age of 12 we should consider her as a female who is menstruating so if you are asking a question about menstruation cycle if you know about 10 day rule <coughs> and because of which you are examining orally an adolescent girl then we should have a separate room for that we should have a separate corner for them to ask such tactful questions regarding possible pregnancy or about the menstruating cycles the first day and the 10th day and the all these related with 10 day rule if there is a chance of pregnancy the decision must be made by the radiologist in consultation with the referring physician based on risk and benefit analysis so if you find that there are chances of pregnancy then you should hand over the case to the radiologist you should inform the radiologist and then the radiologist has to decide in consultation with the referring physician who has sent her for the radiography about the risk and benefit and if the benefit is more than the risk then only we should go ahead even if you go ahead with knowing benefit over the risk even then you should take care for the uh productive parts of the female you should cover the important parts of the female below the uh, pelvis and then only you should go for the x ray examination as a general principle parents or family members should support the child during any radiological examination 
रेडियोलॉजिकल स्टाफ शुड नेवर होल्ड अ पेशेंट इफ एंड ओनली इफ अंडर सर्टेन एक्सेप्शनल केसेस अ रेडियोलॉजिकल स्टाफ शुड नेवर होल्ड द पेशेंट फॉर इमोबलाइजेशन एवरी रेडियोलॉजिकल स्टाफ शुड बी केप्ट अवे फ्रॉम द रूम and then only the radiological procedure should be performed medical practitioners providing radiological services and professions including medical physicist and technologists shall undertake additional special education and training as i said we should have a special trained staff for radiology uh, procedures for pediatric patients now let us see uh, screen film radiography digital radiography fluoroscopy and ct scan these are the four uh, parts of a radiography department where we deal with the radiation the radiography with screen film and digital they are again different of course if you are doing fluoroscopy the radiation part is very high and if you go to ct scan again the radiation part is very high so let us discuss these four uh, parts how to protect a child through radiation while doing screen film radiography digital radiography fluoroscopy and ct scan now exposure time when children are un incooperative they may need emolization so if a child is not cooperating we try to make them immobilize and this is the greatest concern for a pediatric radiography which leads to repetition if the child is not made completely immobilized chances of getting the procedure repeated is very high and repetition is not allowed in radiation protection so if you repeat you are going to give extra dose to the child or even to the adult we should avoid repetitions for immobilization we have number of things number one is distraction technique as i said distract the mind of the child from the procedure which you are going to perform on him and this distraction can be done with the help of toys with of the verbal this thing chatting with their parents they get concentrated on that they get distracted from the procedure verbal technique kai bada kai gal kya ho raha hai bachcha hum ek bahut acha photo lene ja rahe hain you have to smile smile otherwise aapka photo acha nahi aayega these techniques can be used then physical holding we can request their parents to hold them physically and make them immobilize velcro straps can be used velcro straps to tie them sandbags can be used to immobilize ha heavier sandbags to immobilize their um, organs legs and hands then tapes and foam pads can be used even swaddling can be done swaddling is nothing but wrapping in a cloth if it is a very small boy we can wrap them in cloth and make them immobilize immobilized number 2 is they have faster heart and respiratory rates and therefore the exposure time should be very less so because of immobilization jab hum chest x ray kar rahe hain bacche ka the moment he cries continuously uh, at we have to shoot between that they have very fast heart rate and respiratory rate because of that the exposure time should be very less so that we should at very shorter time and very shorter exposure times improve quality without increasing the dose because the children are uh, thin uh, we are not going to lose uh, uh, quality of the film even if we work on a shorter exposure and in that fashion we uh, do not increase the dose for those children then focal spot 
focal spot should be chosen wisely while doing radiography for child patients and the focal spot should be between 0.6 and 1.3 mm and also we can use additional filtration addition filtration may lead to the dose reduction we can even use high speed image receptor systems and that to generally the rare earth phosphor screen is preferred using the high speed image receptor we have very fine images we have to use less dose and we can have good radiology pictures for the child patient so the three things number one immobilization number two proper selection of focal spot and number three addition filtration these three things should be used for radiation protection of children in screen film radiography let us revise the thing for a smart child smart is s stands for shielding appropriate m stands for marking of films identification marks etc a stands for area collimation appropriate the field size and the location r stands for restriction of child motion and t stands for technical settings appropriate so if we follow these five points as a smart person we can make the child again smarter for our good radiography shielding should be appropriate marking of the films and id means because of wrong markings the procedure should not be repeated sometimes right left no conclusion and then we have to repeat the procedure just to see the side which is the right side and which is the left side so this should not be done this should be well taken care of collimation should be taken care of motion should be taken care of and we can uh, do the procedure smartly now we have seen film screen let's go for digital radiography operational methods for controlling dose limits in pediatric radiology avoid use of grid grids are used for secondary radiations since the uh, organs are very uh, thinner for uh, children it is not needed to use a grid even for uh, abdomen x rays and all so avoid the use of grid increase source to skin disease use manual settings don't depend on uh, automatic uh, this thing so when you are dealing with children you should use manual settings of exposure parameters for radiography if you are doing a big procedure of course we should have aec for that but for uh, radiography procedures we should believe on our own manual settings reprocess rather than repeating the non diagnostic images so since we are on digital radiography we can reprocess it and try to get the best image out of that in spite of going for a repetition digital systems have distinct advantages over screen film systems in terms of digital image availability flexibility and operational speed so when we do the procedure or do the radiography digitally we have a good speed also good results also uh the procedure can be finished in shorter time the child will get red, uh, less uh, irritated even we can have immobilization solutions also so there are number of things to overrule the screen field radiography by digital radiography then let us see during fluoroscopy how to protect the child from radiation during fluoroscopy field overlap in different runs should be minimized 
no overlapping should be done suppose if you are doing a, a barium solo try to take the full esophagus in a single shot rather than taking it into part by part try to exclude eyes thyroid glands breast gonads whenever it is possible so well protection should be given to the eyes the thyroid the breast the gonads of course when it is possible under the fluoroscopy minimize use of electronic magnification use digital zoom whenever it is possible so digitally we should zoom while uh, doing the fluoroscopy a removable grid should be available whenever you need you should remove the grid and normally use the grids only for the children above the age of 8 years so below that we should not use a grid then comes the computed tomography ct scan attention must be given to adapting protocols to suit the children taking into account that they are more sensitive than children uh, sorry adults we have uh, different protocols for children in ct scans so never forget to choose the pediatric protocols when a child patient is on the table for ct scan perform only necessary ct examinations this is the first principle of radiation protection justification the three principles for radiation protection are justification optimization and intervention so even only if it is justified that the examination is very important then only we should go optimization is the alara principle or alarp principle and intervention is using the shieldings then reduce the number of multiple phase scans as we have discussed in the earlier slides multiple phase scan should not be performed on children spiral or helical scanning is preferable in pediatric patient as an entire volume is imaged and an increase in pitch can also result in a shorter scan time and in a dose reduction so choose spiral or helical scanning and work on higher pitch so that you decrease the dose automatically and if you choose a helical scanning the entire volume is in imaged at once and then you can reproduce the images as you want so you do not have to uh, go for multiple phase or even you you do not have to go for multiple organ uh, computerized tomographies thank you thank you very much we can conclude uh, with four uh, sentences special consideration for shielding proper collimation added filtration and shorter exposure time these are the four factors which make a good practice of radiation protection while dealing with children under radiography thank you thank you very much mm -hmm.